Okay guys, Shagri here and welcome to my first vlog like that. It's freezing and I'm keeping my distance as much as possible. And you see that I'm with a cozy scarf that I really really do love. And today I'm gonna do some walking around and go do some stuff like shopping for groceries and probably take some art supplies because there are never enough art supplies. So let's get going. After that amazing introduction from myself, I just have to point out that this video is combined of a lot and in a range of three months because yeah, that's me, just let's face it. But one of the things that you're seeing currently that I'm walking is me going to the post office and that post office is from where I actually ship all my orders and all of my Patreon rewards. And I love to go to that place to ship stuff. It's just so awesome. So I go to the post office. Sadly, this time I didn't ship anything. Usually I was supposed to ship this week. Um, but not gonna happen because I'm waiting for tubes to arrive because I have some orders that I want to ship. And some Patreon stuff as well. But I do have to wait for the tubes. And that being said, meaning I'm gonna go for some shopping for supplies. I'm very excited to do so because I haven't go. And there is some new renovation in that shop that I'm going particularly. So yeah, let's get going. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you what I actually bought and the noise behind me is not very pleasant but still of that mask. I'm so happy because I can't wait to show you guys what I bought from two different shops. So first of all, I never before used those markers so I'm excited to try them. So I bought them from two different shops. And this is something that I will use a lot because I really do have to use it for my oil painting that I'm currently work working on and for some of my watercolors to add a water base. And these lovely Ah, dry pastels. Look at the lovely color of them. Can't wait to use them all. So, after a brief break, I'm actually passing by my art school. But anyhow, I'm gonna walk around a bit more and um, go, do, go and take my stickers because I definitely need to get my stickers. So, yeah. I'm excited! And after that I had some small steps and I have a very pleasant encounter and you're gonna see why I'm, it's a pleasant encounter for me. Good day! Ewa! Ewa! Ewa Mankichi! Ewa! Adiwa! Adiwa! So, after that, uh, it took me some time to do all of the stuff that I said and actually did it. Take the stickers, do a grocery shop and actually try some of the uh, markers that I bought. Plus, I also used the dry pastas that I actually showed you previously, early in this video. And do have to point out that my collections of dry pastels as a pens are getting bigger and bigger very, very rapidly, to be more or less. Um, now I do have to share that sometimes in my mornings I'm waking up quite early, most of the time, just pointing out. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm doing brilliant journaling for almost a year in this in this time of the video when that particular shot is taken and I try to be consistent as much as possible because 
like I used to say in my other videos when I'm doing my setups, I want to use it mainly for work and most of my tasks that I need to do by the day, for the day, not by the day, for the day. And one of the things that I'm using my version of and how I'm using it is just do it not every single day because I write, that, write it down what I need to do the tasks for two, three days ahead. And then after those days, I sit down, check if I actually did all that I um, <laughs> set my mind off and fill up. If not, I migrate them and that's it. Also, after that, in this particular day, I'm taking my sketchbook and I just got one idea because I'm currently also reading one book that is very interesting and I just saw an image from inspired actually from that book and I just wanted to lay down some ideas and take my time, do a little bit and just enjoy, enjoy the moment in the morning and of course with my morning routine with drinking Inca but definitely not gonna explain what Inca is I think just gonna leave a description link in the description to explain what actually is Inca because if I try I will just totally mess it up so yeah just enjoy the process so far Most of the artists, including myself, when I'm doing uh, random doodles or idea, mess, mess up ideas to be honest, like very raw, raw sketches, I write down some ideas which are very suitable for what I have in my mind and a vision. And to be clear, when I open this particular page of the sketchbook and just see it and it will be like oh yeah I'm definitely leaning to that particular um, concept that I have in my mind so yeah and truth to be told guys after that I actually bought myself another um, art supplies and I saw one of my uh, shelves in my uh, working space, if you like, <laughs> because most of you know, some of you may not know, but I'm working from home and I love what I'm doing. I love to draw and I decided that it's time for me to rearrange my art supplies because lately I think it's okay to have some small changes to adjust it. it and to see if it's more suitable for what I'm doing and for my needs and also get some clarity and it's fun just to be honest and when I was doing this kind of a rearranging and using my cases like that putting all of my um, watercolor uh, pencils my dry paste pencils and my regular pencils in that black case I was like okay I'm doing that and I just figured out going around with searching for some some of my pencils I figured out that I don't have actually bow pens that much and I'm like, okay that's something that I have to change at one point but still don't have that much bow pens <laughs> I have a lot of um, markers, uh, liners, and all of those stuff. But don't get don't get me wrong. I actually don't have that much of an art collection compared to some of the other creators out there. But you know, I just love it and definitely enjoy to rearrange it. So yeah, 
enjoy the process of me rearranging my shelf with art supplies. It was very, very, very calming and to clear my head as well. I think I'm done. So happy with that arrangement. So one of the other thing is that I said I have my stickers. I do have to point out that I love the place that I do my stickers. The quality of the stickers is amazing. And sometimes I actually do get some stickers for myself and I've been saying this for quite some time, at least for my patrons, and they know that most of the things that I'm doing, I'm doing it by myself. And of course, I have I have help, but all of those cutting, rearranging, and all of those stuff is so enjoyable for me to do. So yeah, just hope you enjoy it. One of the things that I have to point out is that this video is not sponsored i also buy myself new supplies that i'm gonna also show and figure out that i want to use some of my other supplies that i haven't used that much but that is later in this video and i'm gonna talk about that a bit more later but if you're enjoying so far the video consider giving a like maybe you subscribe to the channel if you haven't and if you like what I'm doing and you want to see more behind the scenes or first access to videos, weekly updates, uh, live streams, special live streams with my Patreons, drawing and talking about stuff, consider supporting me on Patreon. I'm gonna leave the links below in the description. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my cutting spree. Honestly, I think one of the best things, at least one of the best things for me is just having all of those stickers lying around in my table and just to recut them because, I don't know, it's just fun and very therapeutic, at least for me. For some people that may be very tedious, but I like it because it's more personal, you know? I cannot explain it, but I just really do like it. But definitely took me some time, like, I think for that particular time it took me like 70 minutes or something like that, I can't remember. But I was so happy with the quality of the, the stickers and 
Later on, I actually add some of them in my new sketchbook on the cover because it's looking more personal. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I just have to say that this video is definitely not sponsored, but these are some of the new materials that I bought. And that particular palette that I'm using, it's an anti palette that I wanted to have an anti palette because I think I have shared before, at least in my Instagram story, that I bought, I bought myself a liquid, not liquid tubes watercolors from um, Royal Tines but I haven't used them that much and I have to get myself a new palette with some empty uh, pens but I don't want it to throw away some of my old watercolors so I actually reuse them And truth to be told, to clean all of those pens from the previous colors, it took quite some time, to be honest, but it was kind of a fun process because there some of those I don't use or haven't used. And I was like, okay, I have a lot of those so I can't clear the pens and I can't store there the new watercolors kind of new, kind of old, because honestly, I haven't used that much those watercolors from uh, Raw Talents Art Creation, and I wanted to use them more because I like the vibrance of the, those colors. And it's a very interesting combination between um, those two palettes. And I also rearrange them in the way that be more useful and have more meaning to me and to be more, you know, eyes pleasing. And those are some of the materials that I have bought and I will try my best to give links to all of the materials that I am showing here in this video in the description below. So you have to check the, this out. So yeah, and voila, it is done. Actually, it took me quite some time, but still, let's just pretend it's, it's not that hard. Thank you. 
So, I actually did it again, uh, but bought myself some new materials. Some of them are from Never Palette Sonnet uh, Sonnet Collection of watercolor pencils. Like I don't have enough, but still, they're different and I like the pigment. But for some crazy reason, all of those colors were so messed up in the in the package, so I rearranged them like they're supposed to be. And I also had bought myself a new sketchbook. Yeah, go figures. Like I actually have a lot of sketchbooks, but I'm using it for very different purposes. And one of the other things that I I bought is a new color from my Ecoline brush pens and two pencils from Van Gogh and they're holding very very well And last in this video is me rearranging my extra colors, my travel palette that actually have a very interesting story about it, but maybe I'm gonna use it in a different video and explain what happened. But that's a very funny story, like I said, for a different video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, like I said, give it a like. And we'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.